I recently did some canning and I was canning orange juice. I thought to myself, um, can goats have the orange peels? Can chickens have the orange peels? And then after my goats loved them, I was like, oh, can donkeys and ponies have orange peels? It was a little iffy on the donkeys, but everything said that they can. So uh, today we're going to try out these new hay nuts and I will link below where I got them from. And we are also going to try giving them some of the orange peels and seeing what they think about it. So here we go. They're all in the barn, but I don't want to be all cramped up in there. So I'm going to see if I can call them out here. Come here. All right. You want to try this? What are you giving me? Okay. Do you like the orange peel? Do you like it? <laughs> Like them. So I guess the uh, orange peels are a win in some of their books. We might be a little bit mad that it's not like a tree tree, it's an orange peel, which you know they like the tree trees. So there is that. Okay. Um, I guess we kind of like them. They're okay. So these bags I got off of a Facebook ad. Um, and I can put where they came from. Um, guts buster. Guts buster, because we're busting guts. They're supposed to reduce hay. So we're going to see if they actually do. See what they look like. I've never used a hay nut before, so as far as like reviewing it, I'm not entirely sure, um, you know, what to be looking out for. I'm gonna put the garbage in my pockets because everybody wants to be all up in my business right now, and we don't need to be eating garbage, right? We don't need to be eating garbage. Okay, I promise they have more room than just me. They just want to be next to me. All right, so um, I'm just, like balancing myself here. Okay. So introduce your horses to their hay nut over a few days while still providing loose hay nearby. Hungry horses are more likely to damage nuts. <laughs> I'm not sure what, what are you doing? Um, if your horse is shot or have chips or splits in its hooves, don't hang the nut low or place it on the ground. We suggest taking the nut out of action until you have time to repair it. So um, if the nut gets broken, then, um, yeah, don't use it on horned animals. Um, make sure that the hay is palatable. Um, and they also have round bales. So I think I got the medium size bale. Um, Cause I wanna see, I wanna see if this reduces hay waste. Honestly, the goats are worse than the horses or the, I guess I don't even have a single horse in the equine. I have a pony and two donkeys. So we're gonna open it up here for you. See what it looks like. Okay, so this is a size medium. I think it's a medium. I'll go back and 
edit this if I am wrong. Okay, this is a meeting. All right, so how does this work? Okay, so it looks like the, wait, does like the entire bow go in here? Stop it, how convenient is that? Okay, so it's actually bail shaped. The entire bell goes in here. Yeah, this is gonna be for you to get hay in. And then it looks like when it's all said and done, you close this up so that it hangs, right? You close, like, right? And then there is a extra string here that you can hang it from. So um, I guess let's go up into the hay loft and uh, put a bale of hay in. I don't have a knife on me. I might have to go get a knife or I'll struggle. Well, one of the two. Um, we're gonna go up in the hayloft, put a bale of hay in here, and see what we think about this when it's all said and done. All right, so uh, here's the bale of hay. There's not light up here, so I'm just gonna try to do it from up here. But here is the orange, looks like it's the top. So we're going to take the rope off of it. Um, always take the rope off of it because you don't want them to eat the rope. Take the rope off of it. That wasn't too hard. Wasn't too hard. No, there's one rope. Oh, this twine isn't on that tight actually. This is a new um, bell dealer that I'm using here. So, might be an easier way to do this, but I'm just going to um, kind of. So there's actually a much easier way to do this. I went on the Guts Buster website and looked it up and I'm going to show you what they say to do, how they say to do it. It's much easier than how I just tried to do it. So check this out. So I will come back on this channel and give you guys a review of what I thought about the hay nets. Um, again, this is coming from somebody who is a completely not complete novice. So it's like my experience from it is pretty much nothing. This is the first time I've ever used a hay net. So I will come back and give you a review after I have something to review. And if you enjoyed this, if this was helpful in any way, shape or form, please consider giving my channel a thumbs up or a subscribe or hitting that bell notification or any of the things that help small YouTube channels like mine grow. And until next time, I will all see you later. And this is a canning accident. <laughs> this is a canning accident, but thumbs up to that. Give me a thumbs up. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.